Hello, hello, Dr. Cliff, your movement recovery specialist, and welcome back to day four of breakfast at the office. Yesterday I had a question from a subscriber about the protein source of the bars, and I want to thank him for that. Ryan, I'm sure you're watching. Um, I'm going to make sure that I let you know what it is in each bar. If you already are not a subscriber and are enjoying this series, uh, please consider subscribing. It's that red button down there in the corner. And if you click the little bell as well, then you'll get notified each time I release a new video so you don't miss any of these. So, this morning's bar, I'm excited about this one, is chocolate brownie made by Kirkland. Now, this is the first bar that I've had before, so I have a little bit of a uh, little bit of knowledge ahead of time on this one. Let's uh, go over the nutritional facts here. The bar costs only one American dollar, so best value out of any of the bars. Unfortunately, you can't get this one at. Uh, a regular store because it's Kirkland brand you have to buy it at Costco or have a buddy that has a membership at Costco that could buy one for you uh, it's one point no sorry 2.1 ounces so right in the average size of a bar only a hundred and ninety calories the protein is 21 so just a little bit higher protein the carbs are 23 so a little lower on carbs and actually a lot lower on net carbs because a huge chunk of those carbs are uh, fiber I think 15 grams let me make sure here yes 15 grams of fiber so you're not going to absorb a lot of the carbs that are actually in here and the fat is only seven now, protein type, I do believe, yes. This is a protein blend that's milk protein and whey protein. Now, whey pro, milk is made up of two different types of protein, casein and whey. And in a lot of dietary supplements, they just put the whey protein because it's cheaper. But uh, this has both plain milk protein isolate, which probably means powdered milk, just writing it fancy here, and uh, whey protein as well. So probably not the best choice if you're allergic to milk, but otherwise, a pretty good choice. Let's, let's check this out. It smells very chocolatey as soon as I open it, even from this distance. A little chewy like as far as consistency. Not like yesterday's bar that was kind of hard and, and dense. You can see there's, maybe you can see, let's see if I can get this to zoom in and focus. You can see there's actually like chocolate chunks in there. This bar is good. Not perfect. Still tastes like a protein bar, not like a candy bar or... Uh, you know, some kind of delicious breakfast sandwich or something, but it actually tastes like chocolate. Not as artificial as yesterday's bar. Taste, I would give this one a... Mm, I'm a little conflicted if I would give it a 6 or a 7. I think like yesterday's bar, it really needs like a 0.5. So I'm going to be generous like yesterday. I'm going to give this a 7. 
That might be a little high, but I'm going to go for seven. Now, let's talk about protein for a minute, because I also had a question about that yesterday. The vast majority of bars are going to have whey protein and a growing number of probably some kind of soy product. And there's a lot of controversy about soy in general, but especially soy as a protein base. Personally, I'm not a big fan for myself. Um, there's some markers in soy products that behave very similar in the body to estrogen and can kind of throw off your hormone profile, especially as a guy. Also, soy is very cheap. So along with corn, it's probably two of the most mass-produced food products in the world. So there's um, not quite as much oversight if you're somebody that's trying to stay away from GMOs or a bunch of pesticides and fungicides and this side and that side that, that cause you know problems with different metabolic and neurologic things in your body. So soy I try to stay away from personally. Um, but there's a lot of other options. Some of these bars have soy just because I grabbed a bunch of different bars that I'd never seen just in case there's something amazing out there that I've never had that we can both discover together. Um, I probably will do another video in the next couple weeks just about protein sources because there's literally new ones all the time. I don't think that the only protein sources you can get are from milk or from soybeans. You know, you have lots of other options there. And that could be a whole other video, which um, if you want to see, leave a comment below. I'll uh, definitely consider doing that because it, it, it could be like a whole other 10 minute video just about all the different types of soy or sorry, protein sources that are out there. But I think for today, I better get a little bit of paperwork done before the first patients show up for the day. So. If you like this and you aren't a member, like I said before, please consider subscribing. Otherwise, leave me a comment about what else you'd like to see, a thumbs up, uh, share it with some friends, and I'll see you soon. Remember, life is a strength sport, so get stronger and get living.